What possibilities could you tell God when you are judged to say, God, let me into your heavens? I, I, I believe you would be so bold to, to treat God, God, let me into your heavens. No, please, no thank you. I mean, you don't even thank God on Thanksgiving Day. Declared by George Washington on the honor of the pilgrims, of taking care of the pilgrims through that harsh, brutal first winter, and thanking the Indians for helping them, and then putting them off in consecration uh, reservations. But what will you tell God why he should let you into heaven? No. No, don't say good enough, because the Bible says there are none that do it good. That's not going to work. No, don't tell God what you've done, because the Bible says not of works, least any man boasts. No, 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 Baptist doesn't work, Catholic doesn't work in heaven. For Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the light. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. So religion is not going to work. No, no, don't tell God your baptism because you've been frying in hell wanting a little drop of water. You couldn't get a drop of water in hell. You're not going to get that water at the gates of heaven. No, Mary can't do it. The Bible again says there is one mediator between God and man, the man, Christ Jesus. Now, Americans today may not know the difference between male and female. Well, thank God the Creator does. And in the Holy Bible, the King James, can watch the modern ver versions, they probably changed that. It says the man, Christ Jesus. So Mary can't get you into heaven. No, please do not say Allah. Because God said, Thou shalt have no other gods before me. No, 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 no. Please, please, please do not take and reduce Jesus down to non-God. For the Bible says, My Lord, my God. So what are you left with to go to heaven? The one that said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. That word was said by no Baptist preacher. That was definitely said by no Catholic priest. That was never said by an imam. That was said by the Lord Jesus Christ. Charlie Darwin did not say that. Huxley would not mention such words. But Jesus Christ, who is the Son of God, who is God, said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. God does not take a race ticket. It's not white. It's not colored. It's not brown skin. It's the skin color of the blood of Jesus Christ that is God. Acts 20, 28 said the blood of God purchased the church. It's not what nationality you are. There will be no Americans in heaven. By the way, tell Donald Trump you can't make America great without God, without Jesus Christ, without the Bible. If you don't have those three things, you do not have a great nation. You have a wicked nation. That's plain and simple. The Bible says that, and the Bible proved of that message. That Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone is the only that can save your soul from hell. That's it. Your belief in anything else 
beads. Your beads, your prayers, your mats, your mountains, your money, your wood to be done, your would be to do, will not excite God the Father in heaven. But by Jesus Christ alone are you saved. Only by Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. You are a sinner. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. God is holy. Be holy, for I am holy, said God. You got a big, big, big problem. God says be holy. The Bible says we are sinners. We are far stretches, as far as away from each other. And in your sin, you cannot approach a holy God. No way, no how, nowhere. If you die in your sins, you go to hell. If you die in Jesus Christ, you are absent from this body and present with the Lord. It's that simple. The password into heaven if I could be vain, is the blood of Jesus Christ cleanses me from all sin. But you can't just walk up to God and say, the blood of Jesus cleanses me from all sin. You got to believe it. You got to put your faith. You can't have a Jesus with all the gods on your dashboard. You can't have Jesus and St. Christopher. St. Christopher is the God of the Patriot of the Junkyard. They had to stop him from being the Patriot Saint of Cards because he ended up in the Junkyard. You won't find Jesus in the Junkyard unless he's reaching down to a soul that wants to get saved. Oh, how are you? Doing well. You have a good day, sir. Amen. There is one name above all names, and it ain't your name. There is one name above all names, and it's not America. In Matthew 4, 12, neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. As far as glory, it's not who, you, it's not what you know. It's who you know. And the who to know to get to heaven is the Lord Jesus Christ. For the gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord, the Lord Jesus Christ. And if you want to die without Jesus Christ, just say hello to Satan for all eternity. Say hello. Hell is low. Hell is low. And you go there without Jesus Christ. And you'll be there forever like you can go to heaven forever. By Jesus Christ. That name will get you nowhere quick. But the name of Jesus Christ is what matters. <laughs> it's glory to God in the highest. The holy and righteous God that we are not. Some Americans think they're God and they'll be put down. There are some religions out there that think they're God, they'll be put down. 
by the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Now Christ Jesus is not our King, but He can be your Savior. By your faith and belief in the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. I've got something else you may be saying. That ain't good enough. There is none that doeth good, no, not one. Imagine a God holy and righteous and loving and long suffering telling you to depart from me, ye workers of iniquity. I never knew you. Matthew. Matthew. Sitting there. Matthew chapter 7. And when God casts you off into the lake of fire, and He says, ye worker, uh, workers of iniquity, you've still got your sin. Light your candles. You're still a worker of iniquity. Say your prayers. You're still a worker of iniquity. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Welcome. Well done, thou faithful servant. Come now. It's not what you can do. It's what Jesus has done. Rest assured. You are not good enough to get God's attention. It has been settled by the gospel that Jesus suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. Not textbooks. Not the Missal, not the Koran. You use Koran to color in a coloring book. You use the Holy Bible to believe on God. You're picking on my religion. You better believe it through the Bible. I'd rather have me pick on your religion than God. Ye workers of iniquity, I never knew you. God, I, I'm a deacon of this church. Who oh, cares? My, my son is my beloved son and is me, God. I see your deacon and jump you over with God and cast you off into hell. God, I've been baptized. Well, sir, Jesus Christ is the water of life. I'm going to cast you off where there will be no more water for all eternity. Bye. Imagine God telling you to go to hell. I'll be down hell as a big ass God. You can't. You'll be down there in darkness and torments forever, ma'am. You'll be in torments forever. As a goddess, maybe. All gods and goddesses will in hell. But they won't worship you. That's the problem with Americans. They think they're... I can't say it. No expression came to mind. You don't think your poop stinks. Stink before God. Because the finished work is based upon what Jesus has done. The gospel. Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures. And he was buried. And he arose again the third day according to the scriptures. We've been here approximately three quarters of an hour. Almost 6,000 people, they say approximately, has just died and gone into eternity. You may finish off at the next hour. We still got 15 minutes to the next hour that we've been here. It's 10 o'clock now, but we were here at quarter past. In the hour that we're going to be here, 6,000 people went off eternity. 
In the next 15 minutes, you may drop on this pavement and enter into eternity yourself. Call the rescue squad. Call the ambulance. If God says your time is up, your time is up. And if you will not believe the preaching of the cross, you may die on the streets of Daytona Beach and you'll wake up in hell forever. Imagine entering into hell listening to the preaching of the cross, to the preaching of the gospel. Imagine hearing about the blessed name of Jesus Christ and falling off into hell for all eternity. You may have another hour, you may have two hours, you may have a day, two weeks, but you will die. The wages of sin is death, and without Jesus Christ, there is no glory. Without Jesus Christ, there will be pain that you can't even tolerate. And yet you'll get more and more in torment. And if you were to put your faith upon Jesus Christ, you may die right here and enter into glory. You may be, through Jesus Christ, absent through the body and present with the Lord. And you'll get no packages of care in hell. They can burn all the candles they want for you, but there is no purgatory. And there is a hell. Imagine a religion with a, with a Jesus, and there's another Jesus, without having a hell where Jesus preached more about hell than he did about heaven. It's the glory of God and the finished work of Jesus Christ. There's nothing else you can do to get to God. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Amen. That's right. I believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. And what, what can you be saved from if you eliminate hell? What else is there? There's got to be hell. Because the Bible says you've got to be saved from something. That moment you wake up and you're in hell, the, the terror stricken that there is this place. And I am here. Look off to Abraham's bosom and ain't there no more. It's gone. Thanks to Jesus. Don't worry about the Old Testament saints. Don't worry about the people in Africa. Worry about your own soul. I know of missionaries in the places of Africa where you're worried about. There are just as much heathens at Walmart than there are in Africa who are going to hell. Get yourself a chair and watch at Walmart. It's an entertainment. But they need Jesus just as much as you need Jesus right now. Stop worrying about the animals. They'll take care of themselves. You worry about your own soul. That whale, that platypus, that, that sea, whatever, has no soul like you do. Animals do not go to heaven. They do not go to hell. They go on your dinner plate with gravy. There is no place of torment as your soul will have. God has provided animals to eat when he told Noah when he got off that ark. Paul says, if you can thank God for it, eat it. But don't preach to it. You're more worried about the soul of these animals and less worry about your own soul. You, as a human being, has an eternal soul that will go to heaven by Jesus Christ or will go to hell without Jesus Christ. Dogs will not be encircling the throne of God. 
only those that put their faith on Jesus Christ, born of a woman. Those who have gotten the new birth by Jesus Christ. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God's eternal life. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. There is no cash, no checks, no gold taken at the streets of New Jerusalem. We enter in by the precious blood of God. That precious blood is Jesus Christ. Salvation is a bloody religion. It's all upon the blood of Jesus Christ. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. But he that has not the Son shall not see light, but the wrath of God abiding upon him. What's the wrath of God? It's hell. What's the love of God? For Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures. What love? and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. This guy over there's got a leash on his kid. He's got a leash on his kid. It's glory to God through Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. Christ left his eternal throne to be born in that manger and grew up and suffered and died on that cross that you might have eternal life through him, not through you. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. It's that simple. Man makes it hard. Satan makes it impossible. God has done it through love. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And in that life is in Jesus Christ. Without that life, he that has not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abiding upon him. God's health care plan is out of this world. He will give you a body through Jesus Christ with absolutely no pain, no breaking down, no soreness, and no doctors needed. You may have doctors in heaven, but you won't need them. They'll be glorifying God. That pharmacist, you won't need his drugs no more. Be praising and worshiping God through the blood of Jesus Christ. There's also no health care in hell. You just be in torment. You be in suffering. You be in condemnation forever and ever and ever. Satan don't care. God does. God's care and love is through Jesus Christ and only Jesus Christ.
Taste of the Lord now before you die. Taste of the sweetness of the bread of life before you taste the wrath of God. Drink of the water of life before you desire a little drop of water. Taste of the light of the world before you enter off into eternal darkness. Be the friendship of Jesus Christ before you won't even care to be with your friends. Eternity without time. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved.